guys welcome to another episode of buzz lady quick one today i want to show you how repeating reeves can make you sound better and very very entertaining instead of you just um what's it called adding so much or putting so much on just one chord changes so get your base let's get started so guys now reeves and um phrase yeah you can also tag it as phrase Riffs and phrase they also work hand in hand. So the essence of repeating riffs is to create a rhythm that will last longer in the mind of your audience. Okay, so as simple as this, let me give you a simple example of what I mean. Now I pick a groove. Um, I'm on key B, so I'm p I pick a groove. I'm doing something like this, as simple as this groove. Doom. It's kind of empty, right? Now, I want to create something, okay, that will also add colors to this groove that I'm playing. Now, I'm doing that. as simple as this i've already started creating something creating rhythm that will last longer in the mind of my audience right this alone i've started entertaining my audience so the riff i brought out there was this the rhythm i brought out there so as simple as doing this What I'm doing has already started creating some rhythm in your head. Okay, so it's better to keep it simple this way than for you to start displaying everything you know. You want to run the, you want to, as you are playing the scale, you want to apply the arpeggio immediately. You want to also play the chords and everything. If you have the free time, you can make use of it. But what I'm saying is keeping it simple okay keeping it simple making your audience to go home with something that they will never forget for a long while than you adding so much they can't even remember exactly what you did on stage you know things like that keeping it simple this way is better than you doing this that i played first speak more volume than this okay this one they can't really take it in but the one i played at first it stays it goes home with them 
okay they enjoy your performance they enjoy your playing get it so now back to the song that i played earlier on the worship song that i played earlier on i want to show you what i did i use more of reef on almost all the chord changes okay so this was the key b and the progression of the song is one five six four tonics of annotation is my do so la fa okay so as simple as this progression now let's create riff on the progression on each of the chord changes if you notice what i did on that song the first movement i played the bass line i played was this i took the same pattern the same movement to the five chord i took it to the six so this is my riff there with the ghost note underneath and everything the percussion underneath that's my riff took it to the five chord also to the six chord okay okay that's it as simple as this this registered more in the mind of your audience take note of those things they really go a long way okay um so that's the first bass line i played so what i was doing there is octave octave then that was the first riff i created there now the second one i did i did this i did something like this yeah i repeated it one landing on my five the same thing on my six i repeated the same thing yeah see how i use them the same riff so i was also including the ghost notes under them under the the move okay under the riff that's the riff octave move to the five move to, to the six third one i did there was what i did going to my five chord that is what i did going to my four chord the same thing i played on the five that's what i played on the four so these things can be repeated so you take note of those movements when creating don't add too much create a lasting rhythm that will last longer so i'm going to recall everything again i did so you can practice it you can go work on that so the first bass line i was using octave don't forget the ghost note underneath so i'm doing i took this movement to the five i took it to the six i took it to the four that's it with the ghost note underneath and that's that was it so do so la fa this has gone a long way now the second one movement i did there i did okay so on your five 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 two three five six 
land on your six. Then six, six, you go. This is my six. This is my two. This is my three. This is my four. So that's why I can go. If you notice, the six shape is a bit different. The way I played the one and the five, the six is a bit different. So this is my one, two, three, four. So the six, I did six, six, four, five. Let's figure out what note is that. This is my six. Six, 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 and one. Six and one, then four. Then four, four, then one, two, four, five, one. So that was what I did. So do do sol la do re so so re mi sol la 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 fa so la do fa fa do re fa so Okay, so that's it. So um so the three I did this so octave one one two six two five two six five five then I go two three tap one two tap six then you go you repeat the other riff again what you did on the five you repeat it on the four leading you to your four so i started from one five one four one five four so try as much as possible to also bring that um ghost note underneath everything i want to show you okay so if you're new to this channel please do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave turn on the notification bell okay and um so that you will get videos new videos i upload every week so that you can easily get them without stress so, and also if you need private lessons from me every information is right there on the screen or in the description below okay chat me via whatsapp send me an email it's going to be a live section, Zoom live section. I look forward to seeing you register. I will see you in my next video. Peace out. Bye.